MRD testing in myeloma, minimal residual disease testing in myeloma, is extremely important to track low levels of disease, particularly uh, with the newer therapies which achieve um, excellent deep responses, particularly the immune therapies uh, such as CAR T therapies or bispecific therapies, but also some of the uh, combinations of uh, what are now a little bit older therapies, the, uh, a quad combination such as daratumumab, Velcade relevant index or uh, Kyprolis uh, relevant index. Uh, and so to, to track the impact of these very effective therapies, you need to uh, have MRD as an endpoint. Uh, and so uh, through uh, the, the IMF, I established a team called the I squared team. Uh, the international independent team for endpoint approval for MRD and myeloma. And so this was a project in which we uh, gathered data from uh, ultimately uh, 20 uh, trials from around the world in which MRD testing had been incorporated uh, to submit uh, to the FDA uh, in support of the idea that MRD testing could provide a reliable early endpoint. And so uh, just recently, um, we had uh, an FDA meeting, an ODAC hearing uh, concerning uh, the assessment of the data that we had submitted to the FDA. Uh, and this was held on April the 12th. And so the I squared uh, team presented the MRD data for over uh, 12,000 individual patients. Uh, and the results indicated that uh, the MRD testing at nine or 12 months is a very reliable endpoint to indicate the likely progression-free survival and overall survival. And so we uh, had submitted data on patients um, in the frontline setting, uh, transplant eligible, transplant ineligible, as well as in the relapse refractory uh, setting. Uh, and so in all of these groups, uh, both the nine and the 12 month endpoints uh, were accepted as uh, reliable MRD testing time points. Uh, and so uh, the ODAC uh, committee accepted uh, the combination, uh, a composite endpoint of CR with MRD at the 10 to the minus five uh, level. So that's basically zero out of 100,000 cells uh, uh, in the bone marrow. So no, no myeloma out of 100,000 cells tested. So they accepted uh, CRD, uh, MRD at the 10th to the minus five as a composite endpoint, which was uh, reasonably likely to predict uh, PFS benefit and uh, can be accepted uh, for the accelerated approval of therapies in these uh, disease settings. So uh, we were obviously very uh, pleased about this outcome. And so now um, MRD testing can be incorporated into upcoming trials uh, as uh, a reliable endpoint for the assessment of uh, deep response. And this is particularly great because um, these deep responses are the ones which in some patients will give very long res remissions and maybe can end up providing cure uh, for some patients.